Okay, in this presentation we are going to look at Laplace transforms, the derivations of Laplace transforms. Now this is actually a short enough exercise. So given that f of s is the Laplace transform of f of t, so this is f of t, it's a function in the time domain, and f of s is a function in the frequency domain or the s domain, and this is the Laplace transform of this. This is the formula I used to calculate it. My just got very wobbly there for a second, I'll just let that settle. So we're going to use this formula here. Okay, so what we want to show is the Laplace transform of e to the a t times f of t is equal to f of s minus a. Just as a remark, in some formula sheets you actually might have a minus uh, e to the minus a t and a plus a, a here. It doesn't really matter as long as the signs are opposite, okay? They're, they're actually equivalent to each other. It makes no odds otherwise, okay? Now, it's a very sort of a quick a enough exercise, so just let that uh, push up. So essentially what we're going to do is get the Laplace transform of e to the at f of t, okay? So essentially what I'm going to do is just multiply, uh, add this uh, additional multiple of e to the at times f of t times e to the minus st dt, okay? So what I'm going to do here, e to, t, e to the power of at times e to the power of minus st, okay? I can simplify that expression here by calling that or adding the adding both exponents together, uh, at and minus st. Okay, so I have at uh, minus st. Okay, or in other words, minus st plus at. Okay. Now, what I want to do is actually try and get it in a sort of a very uh, straightforward form here, particularly as we're dealing with s minus a. I'll just pull back up there. So essentially, it's just helpful to get everything in terms of s minus a as quick as you can because that oops giving a some company a plug there anyway just put, anyway so s minus a so essentially what we want to do is actually express things in terms of s minus a and we, so what we do there is rather than minus s t plus a t we express it as minus s times minus a where the the this minus and this minus cancel out to give us this plus okay dt now there's nothing else in the expression here that relates to s, okay, uh, from the original uh, uh, formula. I'll just go back up to the original formula here, okay. So essentially, we have everything in terms of this formula here, except if f of s is this, f of s minus a is equal to that, okay. So that it's not it's not a particularly long derivation. Actually, it's quite easy. It looks when you hear about the shifting uh, theorems, they look they look a bit rough going, but actually they're not. Okay, and they're very very useful. All right, we'll leave it there.